Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar, and in this video, we are going to be looking at the Frederic Constant Classic Premiere. So on this channel, if you're not familiar, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldessar.com as an authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout this video, you have further questions or looking to buy the watch, check out the link in the description down below to the product page where you can purchase the watch or reach out to one of our dedicated client advisors. Without further ado, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. While being overshadowed at times by giants of Swiss watchmaking, I would say one of the more underappreciated manufacturers from the Swiss watchmaking realm is going to be Frederic Constant. A reason for FC perhaps not getting the shine that it deserves is that it was only founded in 1988. But in that time, they produced well over a couple dozen in-house calibers coming from complication types like flyback chronographs, world timers, perpetual calendars, turbions, as well as their own escapement systems and oscillators to go along with it. But another part of what FC does incredibly well is their more attainable end of just no nonsense, well-crafted watches for under $2,000. In this video, we look at one of my recent favorites from the brand with the FC Classics Premier. So to begin with looking at this watch, I actually want to start with the real juice coming from the caliber from La Joux Pere on the inside. It's a Swiss movement maker that makes a lot of sense when you take a step back. So Frederic Constant has, along with Alpina, been owned by the Citizen Watch Corporation since 2016, with Citizen having also picked up La Joux Pere as well as a high watch making brand such as Arnold & Son. So we have seen some relationship obviously in the past with La Joux Pere and Frederic Constant, this time though, we're getting a time only watch under $2,000 with the G100 caliber. Set beneath the safety of a rare box section Sapphire exhibition case back, the G100 comes into view. Zeroing in on finishing, it would be fair to say that we're not getting anything exceptional in this department, though the movement does offer some Geneva striping on the central bridges, a few blued screws, a chamfered edge or two, as well as a gold tone rotor repeating the wave motif. But the finishing isn't what makes this caliber interesting. The real talking point here is the feature set you're going to get with this caliber. The G100 provides an extended power reserve of 68 hours while maintaining the Swiss standard of 4 hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour for its frequency. How you would look at this movement is basically an answer from La Joux Parade to the ETA or Salita calibers such as the ETA 2824 or the SW200. This takes that general premise though, extends out that power reserve to double that of those standard movements that are typically under 40 hours and getting a package that also, what I would say, looks a bit better in the process. We have been seeing more La Joux Pere movements become available in watches, but at this time, it's not seen that frequently. And with that extended power reserve, it's an extra add-on feature for these watches that allow them to separate. FC makes no specific claims for the G100's timekeeping, but this example kept solid time at minus five to minus three seconds per day when we tested across five different positions. In terms of general operation, again, 28,800 vibrations per hour, 4 hertz. Does feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stop in the seconds when you pull the crown to the farthest position, and a power reserve again of 68 hours. Now, moving away from the movement, the Classics Premier also presents a nice set of dimensions, especially for a dress watch. We have a diameter of 38.5 millimeters, a short lug to lug of 43.8 millimeters, and an 11.3 millimeter thickness. For anyone on the smaller to medium end of the wrist size spectrum, or anybody who simply appreciates traditional dress watch proportions, the Classics Premier is a solid option to consider. Moving into the case itself, we have a straightforward rounded central case complete with a dome bezel and simple angles at the lugs, eschewing the use of any kind of bevel. With more of the refined positioning, everything is polished, including the onion-style push-pull crown that pairs with the case back, which is secured with four tiny screws, providing this model's 50 meters of water resistance. Set between versatile 20 millimeter lugs, the Classics Premier leans into a matte finish alligator grain leather strap that tapers to 18 millimeters and terminates with a simple sign pin buckle. And one other point to mention is there is also going to be a gold tone variant of this model that will come at a premium. Taking a view of the watch's interior surface, a dome sapphire crystal keeps watch over a dial that opts for old school refinement, as is often the case with Frederic Constant. Moving from the inside out, we have a guilloche style texture that adorns the lower position central surface with a small step managing the transition to the rest of the glossier dial. The indices are Roman numerals oriented around the center and raised from the dial for measure of three dimensionality. At the outskirts, a textbook printed railway 
five minute track manages the minutes with smaller printing just outside denoting the five minute positions. Jumping back to the center, the Breguet hands are going to be a design element from one of the true legends in refined watchmaking, pairing with the stick second hand and denoting the time of day. Dial text is limited and neatly printed with only Frederic Constan wordmark in Geneva at 12 with automatic further down at six. And one final point to mention at the end is going to be that there are different dial color options. The silver dial is going to be the most straightforward, probably the conventional flagship product, but there is going to be black dial as well as I mentioned earlier with some gold tone variants uh, within this collection. Overall, very clean package, well finished across the board and going to fit within that traditional framework that you expect from a watch of this styling and pulling from certainly decades prior with this design style. Now to unpack looking at this watch, this Frederic Constant Classic Premier. So this is a watch that certainly is not going to maybe deliver something that hasn't been done before, right? There's many borrowed design elements. You are seeing more of this traditional dress watch design. There are plenty of alternatives to this. And the other element about this watch that I'll say is maybe on the negative side is this is a limited edition. I look at this piece and I think to myself, this could be a great evergreen part of the collection, but unfortunately limited to only 500 pieces. And unfortunately this is not going to be available forever. So that to me is a bit unfortunate. Now we shift to some of the pros, and I think there's one main area that makes this very interesting for me, and that is the movement on the inside. Under $2,000, you see many of the same calibers over and over again. We now have this La Jupere connection here, and I'm waiting to see more brands start to incorporate these movements within their watches. Under $2,000 for this movement does hit in this nice sweet spot, and then many other movements that might equal that power reserve might be operating at a lower beat frequency. So it sits in a very unique spot where you have the ETA 2824s and the SW200s only running at 38 hours of power reserve, allows this watch to separate that much more from the competition. Wearability looks are going to be mass appealing, solid across the board. And overall, this is a viable package, a really compelling watch for under $2,000 for those that are going for a traditional dress watch design with a movement that packs a nice punch for the dollar amount. Well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Really do appreciate that. Also, if you are in the market for this FC, we do have it available on teddybaldisser.com. Teddybaldisser.com is an authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. Now we're able to fund all of our productions here is through selling watches. So if you are in the market, we'd absolutely love to have your business. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.